Hi everyone, now I'm going to be tying a fly called the raccoon. Now it's basically a well-known shrimp pattern for sea trout. Mainly fished in the coastal waters uh, here in the UK and Europe. Uh, or anywhere where there's uh, fish feed on shrimp, whatever fish it is, this is a, is a really good pattern. Now it's really simple to tie, there's not much to it. Uh, I'm actually going to tie the fly using just a long grizzle hackle. And I'm going to use this, this, this hackle for the, the hack, for the back, in the middle and the front. The whole hackle. So you don't need two and three hackles. Uh, it's just, uh, what do you call it, the one would do this fly. Now, the, sh the hook, I mean there's many shrimp hooks out here. Uh, I'm sorry, out there. Uh, this is one, this one here is from Partridge. Uh, size 4. Uh, it's a nice light wire. It's just a nice shape. So what I'm going to do is put a layer of thread down the shank and I'm using a Uni 8 uh, and obviously red. Now I'm going to run the thread until I'm in line with the point of the hook. It's there. And then I'm going to tie in my hackle. Now hackle length, uh, what I'm going to do here is a, this hackle. There's plenty of length here. It's longer at the back and shorter at the front, or just slightly anyway. Yeah, it's just a good grizzle. This is off a uh, white in the uh, neck I've got. So I'm just going to make sure it's tied in. And then you're looking nice strong hackle at the back here. So you're doing the right round about maybe. Depends on what the fibre's like. In this case I'm going down around about four or so. I make sure there's enough hackle at the back. Uh, that should be fine. Happy with that. And then I make sure it's tied down. So I'm going to come up about probably in the shank length that's working on what I'm on just now, about a third of the way up. So I make sure it's I say, tied well on. There we are. And then we make sure this is any fibres going forward, just draw them back. And there we are, that's that's your legs. Now you, you could put feelers on this, the longer legs, but in the in the original dressing there's none. So I'm gonna use a red, in this case seals for. You could use what you have, SLF, you have some sort of dubbing. This is actually fluorescent, this red. It's got a wee bit of pinky colour in it, that's just because of the fluorescence. The orange, salmon colour, salmon pink, that sort of colour works well. Uh, and the same in this fly, you could mess about. So, not too heavy. Just tighten it when you need to. Oops, got some of the fibres there. So my eyes is there, so, but before I do that I'm just going to lightly brush out some of the dubbing. I'm going to use some dumbbell eyes uh, or some chain bead eyes, these are some chain beads I bought from a hardware store. Uh, the one I bought it from is uh, basically, just use a pair of pliers to cut it. Uh, it's called B&Q, that's where I got these. So just basically then Figure out them on. Nice and tight. Now what I'm going to do here, tiny bit of varnish in there. Let it soak in and then almost then figure eight. Nice and tight. Now because they're tied on the top of the shank, this is going to flip it up. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to tidy this up a wee bit of dubbing. Just use the same red dubbing here just to tidy this up. And you can figure it through. Just check you've got it around it. That should, should do it. And then we go back to our hackle. So we're going to put the, this in the middle. And just bear the stem. Now 
Now you could use a smaller hackle to slightly tape them, but it's the same length, almost just about the same length as the fibre at the back here, but it's further up, so I'll pulsate separate. It'll still work. There we go, that should do it. Again, just make sure it's secure. What I'm doing here is just drawing it back here so I don't catch any of the fibre. Just slightly coming over that last turn there. See how it's sitting. I want to be able to see the eyes. It's fine. Now the dubbing could be really much can anything. Uh, I've got some white antron here I could use. Uh, Use seals for, we could use a UV or a blend of both. This is just a, a UV flash. Again, it can be really good. Pearl. Uh, I'm just going to mix a wee drop of the, this is just a white antron dubbing. A wee bit of flash. The UV. The UV is really good in salt water. So it is it really, it's not fluorescent. The UV is a, a shine. So it basically, I'm just going to slide it up. As you can see, I've taken it up and I'm going to work back towards the, the eyes. I want it to thicken towards the eyes like a shrimp colour, a shrimp shape. And I'll taper it and work with it as I get near the top. Just stretching it out when I need to. And we can stretch it out, work my way through. And then we want to taper towards the eye. All I do is get a wee bit of the white antro and I've run out, so I'm just going to have a wee bit of flash. I just blend it into it. I'm actually going to come up a wee bit. Stretch it out. Just always looking at the shape and leave enough room for the hackle. And then draw any fibre going forward, draw it back with your fingers and then thread turns in front. Now we can use some Velcro. Just lift out some of the flash and some of the dubbing. Not brushing it, I'm just basically tapping it with the, the Velcro and it'll lift out. And then we finish off, again it's the tip of the hackle. So the one hackle will tie the, the one fly easily. So nice straight turns, draw the fibres back. Now the, the tip is a wee bit finer than the fibre, so probably an extra turn or so, just to see how it goes. Let me check. Fine. And basically you can take it up and fold it back. Just form a nice head, fold the hackle back which will tuck it back and make it much stronger. Less likely for it to pull out and then you can break it off. And then what finish. There we go, that's the, the raccoon. So as I say, it's a saltwater sea trout fly. But I'd obviously bass around, uh, they would certainly take it. And you never know, the odd, the odd salmon may have a go at it if you're in the salt water. Or any sea run type of fish, or fish that run up the rivers, if you're especially in the estuary. Uh, depending on the country you're in, it could be anything, like it could be uh, char even. It could be steelhead. So a good steelhead type fly. So there you go. That's the, as I say, the raccoon. It will flip. What will happen is when you go to fish it, it will sit up like this. Very shrimp-like. Uh, plenty of movement because of the, the hackles. Uh, it's not overdressed. You can see the dressing. So there we are. As I say, that's 
got the call the raccoon. You could put, as I say, feelers in it as well, a wee bit longer, but they don't have it. This is it. This is the way they tie it. And I would give it a couple of coats of varnish once this one's dry, and I'll just give it another quick wee coat just to brighten the head for the camera, as I say. This is a light varnish, so it dries really quick. So there you are, that's your raccoon, uh, as I say, nice pattern, nice dressing, certainly worth tying if you're going to be fishing in the salt water uh, along the estuary here in the UK and Scotland, uh, in Ireland, certainly work, and in Europe obviously, because it's a European uh, style fly, so hope you enjoyed that, and again, thanks for watching.